think you made it a little tight. Uh, it's it's very frustrating. Taste the spirit of Christmas in a chocolate ball. <laughs> Classic. nicely off to my physio oh. bye honey bye. Have fun. you too <laughs> Guys, just got back from the physio. Oh yeah, look at that. Tricks in, represent. I just got back from physio. I did the classic neck massage, acupuncture. Physiotherapist wants me to continue to wear this stupid vest, but she wants me to up the weights in it. So she gave me a bag of <laughs> these are all weights. She gave me a bag of heavier weights, so I'm gonna try putting those in. See if it helps. There's like little flaps here and they just slide in like that. One second. Oh, that's a lot heavier. Oh, jeez. You know, sometimes I think medical professionals just want you to suffer or look ridiculous. Between this compression vest, oh God, between the compression vest and these binasal exclusion, homemade binasal exclusion glasses. I think they're just playing a cruel joke on me. But for real, this whole process of physiotherapy, glasses, visual therapy, counseling, lasers, chiropractic, vestibular rehabilitation, oh, it's, it's very frustrating and it's taught me a couple things. Uh, I know some of you are in a similar situation where you've had a, a brain injury or head injury and you're dealing with post-concussion syndrome, but I think this applies to all aspects of health, fitness, well-being, and that is one, just because someone is educated doesn't mean they have the answer for you, and two, educate yourself and make your own decisions because at the end of the day, like this last 16 months almost of recovering has been incredibly frustrating and I've been misinformed and uninformed and every type of informed or not informed that you can think of. Ultimately doing my own research and doing my own fighting to figure out what's the answer for me has been the only thing that's worked. And it's frustrating because it's a big, huge, just test. Anyway, I'm gonna go work out. <laughs> a commercial for Lindor. Mmm. Taste the spirit of Christmas in a chocolate ball. Christmas will be white. I'm eating it slowly, don't rush me. No, I'm just saying, I'm, I'm trying to come up with taglines. Christmas lines. will be white. It's, yeah, you're dreaming of a white Lindor. I just wanted to, mm. okay. Okay. Anyway, whatever. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha.
<laughs> Classic, a Christmas story. Is this one of your favorites? Um, top seven. Top seven? Yeah. Elf, the Grinch. Yeah. A Christmas story is up there. Mm-hmm. One Magic Christmas is up there for me too. I haven't seen that in a while. Cheesy. Um, this one's definitely a classic though. Definitely. Grandma got run over by a reindeer. I don't know anything else on the guitar. 